everyone! Hello, hello! How are we all? Hello, Mooney! Hello, love! Hello, hello! I am back for Spooktober! I'm here with my good pal Bertie. That's what I named him. Uh, we're back with Pumpkin Man. And we're back with Alan Wake! Uh, we got to episode 2? Yeah, we got to episode 2 last time, so I'm looking forward to seeing more of the story. I hope you have all had a wonderful day, and a wonderful day yesterday. What day we are? We're on Wednesday. We're nearly through the week, guys. Nearly through the week. I hope it's going well for you. Uh, anything I need to update you on? I don't think so. I am raring to go. I'm very excited. Uh, we missed a few manuscript um, things last time, but that's fine. That's fine. We're not going for 100% here, so it's all good. Uh, what I may do, depending on um, who is around, is Smash or Pass is still turned off. Um, but if people really want to do it, I'm going to spend a few minutes at, towards the end, or sort of in the middle, to do some Smash or Passes. Okay, let's get started because I'm raring to go. Let's turn this lo-fi off. Ah, uh, and turn the Alan Wake audio on. Becky Pichu, hello, hello. That was a very cute emote. I love it. Sup? How are you today? Welcome, welcome. Let's have a drink of water before we get going. Okay. Let's go. Uh, gaming. Hello, I'm awake. Doing fine? I am glad to hear. I am glad to hear. Just in time for the start of the game. Um. What was I going to say? I was going to say something. Now I can't remember. Um, apparently this place has the best cupcakes. I need to try these cupcakes and uh, give my opinion. Okay, let me unplug my controller. It has been charging. Neo! Thank you so much for the raid! Thank you, thank you! Hello, hello! How are we, raiders? Hello! Mooney, can we get a shout out, please, for Neo? Iris the Elf, thank you so much for the follow. How are you? Hello, hello, hello! Welcome, welcome. You're literally just in time. We're about to start. <laughs> Um, you can just call me Iris. Okie dokie. Thank you so much for the follow. I'm tired. Dead Space Remake was stressful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had that. <laughs> well, I hope you're doing okay, Neo. Go go get noms. Go get rest. Get yourself all nice and comfy. Faded. Hello, hello. Blizzy. Hello. How's my favorite bottom doing? Uh, I am doing good today. I'm excited. Excited. Iris, thank you so much for the luck. Thank you, thank you. I am good. 10 hours of hot. Oh, Christ. How? How can you do that? <laughs> that's that's crazy. You're crazy, Neo. Uh, hi, how you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. I'm excited. I'm ready to go. Who knows? Even I don't. <laughs> 10 hours of dead space? Oh, Christ. I got really stuck at one point. Um... I remember, I think, you know, like, when you there's a save that happens, and... Oh! P Pande? Monia? VT? I hope I'm saying that right. Or was it Panda? <laughs> I apologise if I've just butchered your name. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, yeah, there was a point in Dead Space when I played where it saved just as I was about to die. There was literally nothing I could do. Cat, spin! Honestly, that emote is so cute. You got stuck? Should have called Step Mooney. <laughs> I was stuck in a big circular room, so technically, could have been like a washing machine. <laughs> it's pronounced like pandemonium, but a lot of people call me Pan Pananda anyway. Ah, oh, cool, cool, cool. Um, pandemonium, pandemonium. Ah, cool. I've never played Dead Space. Mooney, you need to. 
Always happy to come share with my friends with love. Thank you, thank you. So Eva works. Oh, well, thank you so much for the follow, Panda. All the love. And Neo, that, that emote was adorable. The one you showed me the other day. It's very cute. I'm very excited. Okay. You guys ready? Are you ready for more Alan Wake? Is I'm ready. I've been waiting for this all day. Any friend of Neo is a good person. Ah, thank you, thank you. Yes, Neo is my fellow kitty bestie. Uh, although, don't tell anyone, but I'm actually secretly a slime in disguise, so... Uh, it's not quite kitty, but no one needs to know. <laughs> um, Why is my butt wiggling at Neo, <laughs> Blizzy? <laughs> It's like I'm slapping Neo in the face. <laughs> okay, I've been thinking about this game all day. Let's go. Very excited. We got to episode two last time. Uh, uh yeah, we just because why not? <laughs> that is true. That is true. Um, yeah, we got to episode two. We were just about to go meet the guy that supposedly has kidnapped our wife because, you know, that's a smart idea. Um, and we ended it there because we didn't want to get too far in. So here we go. We're heading for Lover's Peak. That's what we're doing. Right. Let's go. Oh, the Lover's Peaks. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done. But I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them. And they had Alice. This is a bad idea. You should listen to Barry. Right, I've just got to... Okay, that shoot. That sprint. That's big, big, big flame. Not flame. Light. Technically flame. Stuff. Different kind of flame, I guess. What am I on, but I don't know. Uh, and our enemy is the darkness. Not the band, uh, but the the entity itself. God damn! I knew that was gonna happen. God damn crows. Okay, let's have a little wander around, see if we can find anything. Oh, we got a radio station. Oh, I think we came in this room, didn't we? Revolver ammo! Thank you! Turn you on. Welcome back to the show, folks, as promised. Oh, was that me? Just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, Did you guys just you see that? My plan? You make it sound a lot more organized. I'm gonna have to clip that. Did you guys just see someone walk past the window? <laughs> no plan, really. Just taking the. I swear, I swear, I saw someone walk past the window. Much more than that, you know. Oh, tell me about it. I don't like this. Hello. Anyone here? Okay. Uh. Rip. <laughs> Not dead yet. Ah, there's a tire swing. I want to go on the swing. Okay, maybe I don't want to go on the swing. Drop hazard. Nah, you're just imagining things. I'm going to clip it and I'm going to see. Oh, what the fuck? Why is the world falling apart? What the fuck was that about? Hey, wasn't there a light on here? Oh man. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Hello? Uh, Elderwood Nature Trail, Moonshine Cave, or Lover's Peak. Can we go to the Moonshine Cave instead? Maybe the guy who walked by can push on the swing? Ah, maybe, maybe. 
That'd be an excellent idea. Uh, I wouldn't mind a cream pie who would make my day. <laughs> I'm sure it would. There's another cabin. If I see another figure walk past the window, it won't be happening. I'll go kick this one in. Well, I apologise, whoever owns this cabin. How rude. <laughs> Jijimon made my day. <laughs> oh, I missed that little bugger. Hello. Oh. I'm telling you, things are happening. <gasps> it's one of these. Yay, I'm excited. Crime and punishment. The cancer and cure of civilization. But some crimes are impossible to Why there's so many feathers everywhere? Especially in Night Springs. Yeah, Night Springs. I like that song. He's inside, Agent. He's a weird one. So, you're confessing to killing that guy, huh? Why? Is it coming? Oh, this is weird. Yeah, but why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. Took a kid to a soccer game. So how come at the game, you pick a guy and, quoting from the arresting officer's report here, Assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists. Wow, that sentence really flies. He's far too young to be a detective. Maybe you're not the literary type. Okay, so you mess him up. But why? Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you do him like that? I didn't like his face? Well, you must have hated it, because you really went to town there. I mean, there's no way to tell what he looked like. No ID on him either. That must be difficult. It's but then we ran really the unnerving. Got a match. Your prince. Identical. Huh. How about that? Your son said you were wearing a white shirt when you took him to the game. But the white shirt is on the dead guy. It's plenty red now. You won't get away with this. Do you really think that's in any way relevant to me? I had plenty of time to talk to my boy before the cops arrived, you know? He won't stop screaming, am I right? You think he's ever gonna be okay? <laughs> I left my mark. Believe me. You, you bastard. What? Tom. Are you gonna shoot me? What's the point? I'm going to prison. You got me. I, I don't understand any of this. And you never will. Don't worry. Maybe you'll see me again, Agent. What? God damn. What an episode of Night Springs that was. Uh, Gigi Mon should also get redeemed for Smash Pass. He deserves it. <laughs> Can't get spooked in the game watching spooky shows. It is very spooky. Okay. Oh god, I hear loads of crows. Can I go in the camper van? Warhaven, hello, hello, how you doing? Lucifer, hello, hello, yoo-hoo! Good time summer blowout. Um, how are you doing? Are we having a good day? Can I call someone? Can I call someone for help? Uh, do I... Do I want to go down or up? Doing great! Watching Digimon Days is gone. Hey! I don't think I've watched that one. I hope it's good. Hope you're enjoying it. Manuscript! Uh, aha! Uh, can't call the authorities. Tell them it's too spoopy out here. Late night. Rose knew that Rusty was in love with her, and she liked him too. I she will do that. A lot. He taught her to dance, and life had certainly taught her the value of a man who was gentle. He treated her well, made her smile, made her feel good. But Rusty wasn't the prince of her dreams. 
and that tended to underline the unbearable truth. She was no closer to that Hollywood magic than he was. Who's Rose and Rusty? Um, Data Squad, I also haven't watched. You need to. It has some of the best uh, machismo I, I, I have ever done. Watch the match, macho man energy is great. Oh, okay. I will look into watching that. Yeah, who, who's Rose and Rusty? It's certainly spoopy here. Oh god, I nearly fell down the hill. How are you all, by the way? Rusty dying? What? The air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. What? No, 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 no. I call Illuminati. Uh, main character is like, forget my Digimon partner. I'll run that Digimon bad guy's pockets himself. Uh, for Macho Manager, I would watch Thermometer 4, Rise of the Macho Man. <laughs> I was almost too anxious earlier to call my doctor's office and reschedule my appointment earlier. Did you manage to do it? I hope so. Don't worry, I know those things can be tough. Stand in the light. Oh. Okay. The vision left me weak. This was no head injury. What? What? Damn. What's going on? Hang on! I'm coming! Please help me! Rusty, hold on! I saw that noise. Rusty? Where are you? Help! Help me! Can you hear me? I can hear you, but I can't Please, see you. Help. Hello? Back here. I'm oh, Christ! Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh, hell. It happened. Just the way it was on that page. I found... Came true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. What? This, the lights in the office. I, I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Why is Matt in the cage? Far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. What? Wait, isn't this where we're staying? Was one of the cabins that was staying there? The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Oh, manuscript page. The visitor center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way. Oh, God. He felt the broken ribs stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. Oh no, no Rusty. I uh, realized today being on the phone is harder than normal, which is not helped by the fact my job involves taking calls. Yeah, I'm a bit the same. I hate being on the phone, but my job means I have to be on the phone, so it sucks. Uh, release Matt, see will fits everything. I'm sure he would. Doggos always fits everything. I'm also slightly worried it's going to die. Okay. We are in the office. Uh, 
Tiny script. That dog dies, I'm burning this game. <laughs> At the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. Oh, Christ. Is this something that I've got to do? Uh, I would argue staying in that cage is the safest place for anyone. Doggo or not right now? Maybe, yes. Uh, Drop to reference for the main character, Marcus Damon. Oh, thank you. I'll check that out after stream. Let's get these lights on. Thank you, James. Oh, no. I've forgotten to open my thing. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. They, they will happen. Bear with me. It's under the fun channel. Okie dokie. Scam. No, I will do it. Hold on. Hello, James. How you doing? Bear with me. <laughs> okay. Let's... Uh... Good. How was you today? James has put a cat in a clever disguise. <laughs> uh... There we go. Glasses on. Mustache on. Now no darkness can get me. Surprisingly no as today? Oh. Maybe Twitch is being good. Revolver ammo! Batteries! Oh! I was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. God there was no damn way to get you. the lights back on. Can I at least take the axe? Rusty? Rusty! Rusty, I'm coming! Is the dog okay? Matt, are you okay? The ground was covered with oily patches. Oh my lord! Looked like liquid darkness. What the fuck were you? Hunters need hunting licenses. Hunters do need hunting licenses. Reload. F in the chat for Rusty. Rusty, you good? You okay? Why is it all weird here still? Oh, is it this? Burn the darkness away. Rusty. Something. Matt Snow! Not the dog! Is the dog okay? Please don't feed the animals! Rusty! Fishing is only permitted for those persons! Oh! Hey Rusty! Nice drop down you did then. Rusty, no. Rusty. No, Rusty, stop it. Pets must be leashed. Fuck you, Rusty. Where are you going? Where are you going? This includes even rocks you may find along the river. Or even simple berries! <laughs> Come back! Ah! Fuck you! Sorry, Rusty! Don't want to spill puddles of marmite everywhere? Not the marmite. Oh god! Oh 
Now someone tell me where that dog is. I need to know. Where is the doggo? Oh, ammo. New battery. Oh my god, look at all that ammo. Christ. Sounds like Mr. Crocker in Fairly Odd Parents. Fairy God Parents. Oh, do you know what? I have not watched that in ages. Oh shit! There goes a tree. Okay, I think we're good. Oh no, I've revealed that I'm old. Don't worry, I am also old. Uh, but I just haven't watched it in a long time. <laughs> Hello? What? What the hell was that? I saw it from the window. I saw it. I saw something. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Yeah, Barry, stay safe. Don't go down the edge. Any secrets? Anything back here? Hello? Manuscript. Oh, can I take the beer with me? Rusty's In final that last thoughts. In of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens, but she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. Oh no! Mr. Crocker was a good kid until Timmy ruined his life. <laughs> oh, Rusty. Where's the dog? Where's Matt? I need, I need to know where this dog is. Barely have a teens now, that... In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. That is Rose a weird sentence. Years, but she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck. Uh, was <laughs> I didn't think about him. that. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Oh dear. Now she never would. Imagine sitting there watching the other two Digi Destin giving a pep talk to their Digimon and Marcus simply slow walks up to the evil Digimon starts bots with said evil Digimon. Oh my lord. Yeah, I'll check that out. Um, yeah, that's, um, to be fair, barely out of teens could mean 20 or 21. I suppose, because technically, uh, in America, it isn't teens up till 18, so, yeah. It might all be innocent. Might. Nineteen. True. It could, but first thought goes to that person doing math for the Jetsons. Twenty. <laughs> oh, to be fair, I would have said she was early twenties. So yeah, she is probably like. 2021 and he looks about 30 something do not feed wildlife don't do it lover's peak was at the far end of the nature trail entering moonshine cave oh this is where i wanted to go where doggo yes where doggo indeed What if I just like break the story and not go the way that I'm meant to go? 
Moonshine Cave, site of frequent bootlegger activity throughout the Prohibition. There's too many bats. <gasps> Shotgun! Yeah! Flare gun ammo. Flare gun. And batteries. Um, yeah, where Doggo? I need to know where Doggo is. I don't like how dark this is. Doggo? Doggo! I would whistle, but I can't actually whistle, so uh, I'm not going to try. <laughs> Doggo! Oh, I guess we've got to go to Lover's Peak. Doggy. Oh god, that made me jump then. God. Oh, you threw something at me, you bastard. Oh! That's what was uh, hit me. Oh my lord. Okay, we're good. I feel we're good. I definitely need the porta potty after that. Christ. <gasps> A hat! Gimme. Aw, I can't wear it. I uh, don't think there's anything around here. Or the potty jackass style. No, not that style. Batteries in here? Batteries. Oh god, someone tried calling from that phone. None of this looks safe. <laughs> I like going on walks, but you would not see me going on walks in this sort of area. Do you even know what Jackass style porta potty is? Is it going to be like you're in a porta potty that gets flung up in the air on a bungee rope? Because uh, that's what I'm imagining. Harry meets Rose. Nobody in Bright Falls seemed to know where Al was, but Rose, the waitress at the diner, had seen him. From what Barry could tell, Al pretty much fell off the face of the earth when he left the diner. Rose was just the kind of fan that Al hated, but she really tried to help. She was smart, too. Knew a lot about what was going on in the town. Knew a lot about Al. Even knew who Barry was. Barry liked her. That was no big surprise. When it came to women, Barry and Al rarely saw eye to eye. Oh, Rose is just trying to help. Uh, this just this just looks like he's begging to get mugged by Mothman <laughs> and his uh, buns of steel. Uh, like a big ass catapult attraction, but the potty isn't even empty yet. Yeah, no, don't want to don't don't want to think about that. <laughs> That's icky. I'm sitting in coffee uh, for a while. Yeah, I've either missed it or um, there just hasn't been any. Hello? 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 Run to the light, shall we? I'm safe here. Uh, 
No coffee? Alan is going to fall asleep now. Uh, indeed, it was very icky. Many people threw up when they saw it. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> Aw, look at the bear. Bear provides shotgun ammo. Okay. Uh... Do we want to go to the visitor center or lover's peak? I presume visitor center is where we were, right? I guess we head for lover's peak then. The great old one. Hey, that's me. Oh god, you got a shovel! Oh, I see you. Try and throw an axe at me. B. He just really digs Alan's work. <laughs> uh, the great old one fell by lightning in 1937. This exceptionally tall Rocky Mountain Douglas fir, something, 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 was over 200 years old. According to local legends, it stretched beyond the stars. After it fell, it was measured to be 66 meters tall, nearly a record length. Oh, man. Uh, right, where do I need to go? You sneaking up behind me in the shin. Ah! The genuine terror in that outburst. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> They just sneak up behind me and it's so rude. Fuck you! Ah! Fuck off! Did I get that one? I think I did. Uh, and I is back. Welcome back, Lizzie. Did you have fun? Ah, oh, Pikachu. Uh, only walk here with backpack. Uh, thank you for the mustache. Always. <laughs> What's in here? The goodies. Okay. Oh Christ, what happened to this phone? Oh dear. That's not good. Why do all these people have axes? Oh, oh, yeah, I suppose they're lumberjacks essentially, aren't they? Didn't mean a jump then. <laughs> it's like I just did a little jump uh, of happiness. Pikachu eating ramen. Hey, it's so cute. I turned the corner, afraid of what the flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly, a roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in the light. Behind it, hidden by a rock, sat a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason. Packed with supplies, batteries, oh, shit. flares, ammo. Things you need to make it through the darkness of the night. We Something did that. left behind by someone who knew what I knew, and more. It's literally, like, what we did. Okay. Uh, uh, everyone gets issued a nuts when they move into town and bots a revolver ammo on the first of every month. Man. More than what I get in my town. Oh, I see coffee. 
Give me the good stuff. Uh, don't go off the edge, though. Thank you. We also see coffee down there. But uh, I'm not going to drop down there. What do the coffee do? Uh, I don't think it does anything. I think it's just a collectible. But I like to collect it. It might heal you. I don't know. Bear. Bear alert. Moon bear alert. Mate bring a brrrr. A collectible, yeah. Unless the remaster added something as a bonus. I haven't seen it. Ah, uh, fuck you all! I'm just trying to have a leisurely You're stroll. Doing great. Fuck you all! Boom. We done. Uh, yeah, Mooney's a collectible. Mooney is a collectible, and thank you for the you're doing great. Everyone wants a Mooney. Uh, anything up here? Oh, Christ. God, it gets so dark. I don't like it. Uh... Yes, I want a cat Mooney. Oh man, that'd be cool. If we could do like little, little, little cat moon and a little Mooney as a collectible. Like a McDonald's toy. Uh, okay. Cat Moon is still a cat dog. <laughs> Fruit Tree. Oh man, what a name. Could you go through the tree? C? A? I feel old. Don't feel old. Don't feel old. I won't allow it. Uh, hiking trail. Motor vehicles prohibited. No littering dogs must be leashed at all times. But then where is the doggo? I need to know where the doggo is. Dates from 1846. Year of the Oregon Treaty. Uh, the tree this ring was cut from started growing in 1846. The year of the Oregon Treaty was signed. Other notable events marked on the rings. The Washington Territory was formed, the founding of the Bright Falls Mining Company and the town itself. Washington was granted statehood, tree damaged in a forest fire, the Bright Falls Mining Company closes its doors after a volcanic eruption below Cauldron Lake. Uh, Mount St. Helens erupts, tree felled by storm. God damn, this tree has gone for it all. I remember so many great cartoons that no longer exist. Oh, don't worry, Blizzy. We've all been there. Uh, watch it hit me on the head. If that's such a fragile piece of wood, don't suspend it like that. Because that's just going to break. Such as... I is no good. What's that one? I don't know that one. Okay. You can't get that way apparently. Unless. 
about this way. Manuscript! I want to be Sultan instead of the Sultan. Yeah. I don't I don't know that one. Nightingale's arrival. Agent Nightingale didn't want to be in Bright Falls. These little communities revolted him, and he didn't like the trees or the coffee. He now knew that impossible horrors lurked behind the storefronts and smiles. He desperately wanted to turn the car around and just drive until he passed out or ran out of road and booze. But he had a job to do. He had a rider to catch at any cost. What? What are we done? Are we done something? Oh man, I wish I got all the manuscripts in episode one now. Oh no, not the cable car. I would have worded National Forest. But we're on Lover's Peak right now. Or that infamous tree coffee. Uh, I also remember Mad Jack the Pirate. No, I don't remember that one either. Uh, you're doing great, thank you! Oh man, this, this is gonna end bad, isn't it? Gonna be one of those hold out until safety comes. Maybe? Cat, the pages might not be limited to your perception of time. That's like the deepest thing I think you've ever said to me, Mooney. <laughs> Shit. Ah! 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 Fuck you, crows! God damn. Oh, fuck. Grab the flashlight. What? Come on, we gotta get moving. More of them coming. Who are you? And why are you my hero? That flashlight's kid stuff. The flares will keep the bastards away. Thank you. You can see them too? Hell, of course I see them. Come on, we gotta move. Okay. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but... Let's move! I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on him. It took a moment, but then... I recognized him. Okay. He ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, Wake. You better keep up. Uh. Oh. Uh. Uh. Oh, fuck you. Ah, fuck you. Uh, do I have any form of gun? No, I do not, do I? I am just the torch man. Oh, Christ. Okay. All stories actually plagiarized from a smaller account on AO3. Now we have your regular red-blooded American. We do. We do. Hi there. Did you kidnap my wife? Oh, fuck! Ah! 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 I tried to dodge them. Uh, hold on. I gotta see if there's anything around here.
Uh, any pages? Any coffee? Don't think so. Let's go. Use the flares from the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off. Give me the okay. gun. Yeah, <laughs> no can do, Blake. Are you kidding? Give me the gun. No time for back talk. Hold them off, damn it. Oh man. Why can't you give me the gun? Or at least a flare gun? A little longer. Scare them off. Be scared of my flare. Just a little longer. I almost got it. Ah! Okay, it's open. Move it or lose it. Hey, I'm coming. There's an axe in the gate. Wake, what are you doing? We are gonna head up these stairs. I'm looking for coffee. I am looking for coffee. Oh, you feeling better now, Wake? All cozy and safe. Fuck you. Give me a gun. Did you kidnap my wife? Better get ready. They'll be on us soon. I need a gun. I had a shotgun and everything. This is it, Wake. The last stand. There's more flares here. Get Give ready. me the flares. Please fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun! They're coming! That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake. What do you mean? Oh, God! Back! Back, I say! Fuck you all. Go away. Oh, shit. Oh, see coffee. That's right. Die already. Die. Huh? Boom. Oh, God, there's more coming. Irish Viking. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Fuck off, everyone! Thank you for most stuff. Ah! Oh, fuck! I tried to dodge that. Um, can I go get this coffee? Uh, hold on. Bring it. Thank you. Oh, I'm kind of stuck. Oh, I'm out of battery. Shit. Fuck you. Good, just got home. Let's hey, welcome out. home. Where's my wife? I knew you were gonna say <clears> that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're gonna bring about something glorious and terrible once we get you some proper editorial control. What? What the hell are you talking about? Where's Alice? I want the entire manuscript, or she's gonna suffer bad. You touch her all. <laughs> oh, why would I do that? What do you want as a manuscript? That guardrail was not up to code. It really wasn't. 
I actually thought that was going to be more of a drop. No, come back here. I swear I'll kill you if you hurt Alice. Do you hear me? Come back here. Come back. Uh, going to make an Irish coffee and, and play some um, it held MHW some with power, some friends. I had no manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Barry and figure out my next move. You should never have left Barry. What is MHW, Irish Viking? Monster Hunter World. Thank you, thank you. You know, what? ever since I started my new job, all it is is acronyms. So now I'm getting confused about every acronym. On more than one occasion, Alice had tried to explain to me how it felt to be afraid of the dark. To her, darkness wasn't simply the absence of light, but something more tangible than that. It was something you could touch and feel. Worse than that, it was something with a mind of its own, something malicious and malign. For her, things changed when they were wrapped in darkness. They turned into something else, something foreign, and nothing was safe or innocent anymore. I'd never really understood what she meant until now. Oh no. Alright, bear with me guys, I've got to readjust my seating and do a posture check. That's the noises I make when I move. I'm getting old. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Nerd. <laughs> Nerd? Hey, let's let's go after this guy. Can I go after this guy? Oh, I can go after this guy. Oh. 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 I didn't like that. Oh, it was going to fall on me. Oh, God, I did fell off then. Let's go. Do I now have a gun? I do have a gun. Gaming Skull! Hello, hello. Can I suggest a game to you? You can suggest. I can't promise I'll play it, but you can suggest. Gimme, gimme. Oh! What the, hell? what the fuck? You bastards! Also, where is Doggo? The Evil Within 1 and 2. Do you know what? I wouldn't mind doing Evil Within. Um, I'd probably have to get it when it's on sale. I wouldn't mind doing it. Oh god. Are these all traps? Can't get me. On Steam it's 10 and 20 pounds. Oh, okay. I will put put it in my mental list and then maybe one day we will play it. Okay. Uh, I saw a sign that said, if you hear a bunch of grunting and moaning coming from my room in the morning, that's just me trying to get out of bed. That is just me trying to get out of bed. Price will be going up soon though. Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> Ah, uh, thank you for the pets. Thank you for the moustache. And yeah, that's where I came from. Yeah, I've reached that age where uh, I just make random noises. Just to function. I've reached the age I cannot stand out with making some kind of noise. Yeah, so- Oh, God! God damn. Shouldn't have looked at chat. Save. Rip Alan Wake. <laughs> you'll be sorry. No, come back here. I swear I'll kill you if you hurt Alice. 
Do you hear me? Come back here! Water means it's to death, yeah. Alan Wake can't handle the water. Alice, and he wanted the manuscript because he thought it held some magical power. But I had no manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Barry and figure out my next move. Okay. Uh, not early in life for guys, though. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we're good, we're good. There was a comedian that once said, you don't need to do drugs after a certain age. You want to rush, you just stand up when not expecting to. And I resonate with that, I do. But I love video game logic. Gives you the power of the gods, but either you can't swim or open a locked door without a key. And then there's like a Venus flytrap will die if it's supposed to anything other than distilled water. <laughs> I will not fall for your tricks this time. Avoid the bear traps. Oh, you fuck! I looked at chat again! Oh, fuck! You stop throwing axes at me! Oh my god, oh, that went so terribly wrong. Water's like poison, I guess. But Alan Wake it is. Okay, don't look at chat when I'm in precarious situations. No, come back here! I swear I'll kill you if you hurt Alice! Do you hear me? Come back here! Come back here! He had Alice, and he wanted the manuscript because he thought it held some magical power. But I had no manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Barry. I mean, that's a bold assumption. You might just really want your work to plagiarize it. I think that ad break cop blocked everyone from that jump scare death. <laughs> oh no! Cat, cat, cat! Focus. I will focus. All the focus. Okay. Many focus. Avoid the bear traps. We can do this. It's fine. Thank you for the hog. Oh, you fucks! Didn't see that one. Rusty had warned me about these traps. It hurt like hell. I was stunned. Fuck you. We good? I think we're good. I didn't see the jump scare death because Christmas had. Oh no, not Christmas. Christmas ruining all the jump scare deaths. Uh, I'm trying to figure out my route through because um, I'm sure there was like revolver ammo and some stuff around here somewhere. Christmas ads already? But it's not even Halloween yet. Oh Mooney, you sweet summer child. Christmas starts just after Christmas finishes. The honks were there to help you focus like a bardic inspiration. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I think I made it. Checkpoint. Excellent. Twitch says it's time for them. I used to work in retail and they would start getting the Christmas stuff out um, uh, at like all this time. Ah! Fuck off! Ah! Fuck off!
Oh, damn. Oh god, the darkness! The never-ending darkness! I missed that! What was it? Shootings. Hello. Anyone here? Can I open this. No. What are you gonna come up behind me for? Hello? Oh, a cabin! I guess see the Christmas ads or the one I have seen a couple of times of a man uncomfortably excited to open a jar of mayonnaise. What? <laughs> what the hell? Batteries! I need you. Oh, is that a shotgun I see? Or are you excited to the see me? The night had been one desperate situation after another. I was exhausted and my body felt as though it had been chewed up and spat out. The flashlight was heavy in my hand, and each pull of the trigger sent a painful shock up my arm. But I was finally out of the woods, and things were looking up. That's when I heard the chainsaw. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Not a chainsaw. Oh, it's a hunting rifle! Oh, shit, son! Now we're in business. All right, let's get his generator started. Woo! Coffee! One, I don't even like mayonnaise. And two, I definitely want to see a man who's absolutely about to fuck that mayonnaise. <laughs> uh, why are you getting ads like that? <laughs> Hey. Oh, where the fuck do I go? Flares! Not that way, apparently. I had heard the plane fall. It made no sense. It was clear ah. that it had just fallen here. But it was very old and obviously hadn't flown in decades. Looking at it, it sent a shiver down my spine. What the fuck is a plane doing here? Oh! the fuck? Oh, it's, it's the Marmite. Hello. Oh, secrets. Hello? There was an arrow this way. Were you about to find Amelia Earhart? Maybe. Maybe that's where she ended up. Uh, I 
swear that pointed up that way. I could be wrong. Oh, no, wait. The in the plane? Can I go in the plane? Oh. Can't go that way. Maybe. I can go this way actually. Uh where are you pointing? Uh Oh Up that way? Surprisingly, she was still eaten by coconut crabs. Not oh, the coconut crabs. Uh Oh There we go. Puzzles! Flare gun, flare gun. Let's mosey on along. Uh, maybe not this way. Up this way? No. Now I'm lost and confused. Is there a map around here? All I know is I have to make it through the woods. Maybe I do have to go down this way. Damn. Hello? I didn't want the, um, flare gun. Anyone else want a piece of me? Hey! I want a piece of this kitty! Oh, fuck you! We good? I think we're good. Possibly. We might not be good. Hunting revolver... Hunting rifle ammo. That's what I meant to say. Light! Oh, the light. Where do I need to go now? Oh, is that the cabin? Is this the way? Uh, oh god, I don't feel oh. like that's the way! Oh my lord, how did I survive that? I should not have survived that, is the question. Is the answer, I mean. How do I... How do I get out of here? I'm so lost and confused. Are we here? Ah! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you bitch. Christ, okay. Any pages or anything here? Uh, doesn't look like it. Oh god! Water! My enemy! Climb, climb, climb! Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Uh, we want to go to that, don't we? Anything here? I can't do a Dark Souls roll of roll into the wood and see if there's any secrets. Fuck you, darkness. Get rid of the Marmite goops. God, I thought that was a person then. Marmite goop be gone. Honestly, Alan Wake tried to roll. He hits the ground and you just hear him throw out his back. <laughs> that would be the way. The logging site was a mess. The modular office had been pushed off the cliff. Damn. Deputy Thornton climbed up from the wreckage excited, breathing hard from the exertion. Nobody there. It's weird. Don't you think that's weird? Bored, Mulligan let out a mighty snort. Hell, it's always weird, Thornton. Just a question of sorting out what kind of weird it is this time around. Um, deputies at the login site. Uh, I think I missed a page, which kind of sucks. Alright, let's keep going up. Kick! Give me a lift. Oh. Cinder, hello, hello, how you doing? Welcome. Are oh, you having a good day? You join us in spoopy time. When Barry saw the darkness attack the visitor center, it made him a believer. The men Al said he'd shot, they hadn't been just locals on crank. Somehow the world had changed, like the channel had been switched without warning. You think you're watching a sitcom and you're really watching a horror show. When the birds started attacking the cabin, Barry wasn't surprised, just terrified. Oh no, Barry! We gotta go save him! Uh, Missing Page probably has the spicy subplot. <laughs> probably, probably. Uh, good, good to hear. Darkness Marmite! Okay, we good. Flares! All the flares. <gasps> Coffee! What we want. Flares and coffee. Up the ladder we go. Okay. I'm going to say this now. That wasn't my fault. I was just getting rid of the Marmite. Um, Reeve, okay, so I got bored waiting for my friend, nobody asked, but I looked up the airplane in the forest. It's a one man HU-16 Albatross. I don't know what that is, but it sounds neat. Um, I don't know much about planes, but that sounds really cool. Like a cool name. 
Pretty sure if I get flares and coffee I around, the police will quickly need to get involved. I mean, from what it sounds like, the police are trying to chase Alan down. He's just in the woods, so they can't do it. Ah, the darkness wears her face. Uh, blimey, blimey, Cinder. <laughs> you, you're very busy. Good to hear. Good to hear you're doing good, though. Fuck you, lumberjack man. I'm guessing they don't like light. Yeah. To be fair, I kind of resonate with them on that because, you know, I don't want light in my face first thing in the morning. Uh, off to eat now. Have, li ha have a lovely night, cat. Have a lovely night, love. Get good rest. Get good sleep. I uh, hope you're feeling better, by the way. I, I forgot you had a viral infection, didn't you? So I hope you're feeling better. Thank you for being here. And kisses. Mwah. Mwah. Uh, I'm not depressed anymore, so I guess that must count for something. That's good. That's good. I'm glad when uh, people are feeling a bit better. I don't like light either. Okay, where do I go now? I roll that into that. Oh, sneaky. <laughs> I love, I love the little Alan Wake jump. Huh. <laughs> <Her. laughs> That's the jump of a middle-aged man. Oh, them bats everywhere. Batteries! Uh, right, up. Or right. Alan is the peak of physical performance. Ugh! <laughs> she tends to spoil me. I think she spent close to $200 on me so far. Oh my lord. Wow! Oh. Damn you guys. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, we're good. I've got no battery. Oh, I've got one battery left. Try to crush me some with some logs. Told her it's not necessary, but she keeps saying you're my puppy. I have to. Fair enough. Blah! Right, batteries, ammo, we should be good to go. Campgrounds. That was one big ass gate. No, not the trees. Gotta protect nature. Logging is a hazardous occupation. Uh oh. There's the chainsaw. Reload, reload, reload.
Oh god, his, his body did a, a shloop. Uh, do the flares do extra damage? Uh, ask uh, how will we? Uh, did. No, no, thank you. I'm not. I'm not in the. Um, I'm too busy to be a mistress these days. <laughs> also, yeah, I can't spoil you like some can. <laughs> I ain't got the time for that. Right. Can you guys see any shiny pages or anything? Or coffee. Anything we may have missed. That's where we came from, isn't it? Yeah. Backgrounds! Change with both of us because I remember when you. I mean, yeah, but I got busier. <laughs> Well, I, I still think to this day I wasn't a very good one. Hello? Ow, the porch is covered with birds. They've got all Hitchcock on me. Oh, Stay no. Out of sight. I'm on my way. Don't open the door. What am I, crazy? Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. Uh, you're a great mistress. Oh, thank you. Uh, cat, I got twenty dollars and I know how to make garlic bread. What can I get with that? <gasps> garlic bread? Yes. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> that is like the key to my heart. <laughs> Pizza and garlic bread. Um, I really don't like the movie with all the birds. I think that's a Hitchcock movie. All the birds start like flying and attacking um that freaks me out more than a lot of uh horror things do <laughs> you become cat's mistress master. yeah you were combined <laughs> uh did i hear garlic bread or pizza oh i had I pizza today to Barry at the cabin, but at least I it was, was good it was good guys it was the highlight of my day Oh, that's a cute about. Oh god, so many caravans. What does this mean? I'd have to get the car from the locked garage. It would get me back to Barry faster. And the headlights were a welcome bonus. Okay. We need the key to the gate then. Tire swing! Oh, this one's not moving, so it's safe. E, E, E. Closed for renovation. Oh no, not the toilets. Oh. Hello? Someone's having issues in here, I think. Oh, that one's locked. Oh, TV. Can I put the TV on? I had to find the key to the garage. Oh, I got him. Oh. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. Oh, shit. That's not what we want. Uh, not every master and mistress will spoil you. If one's on to spoil you, I suggest looking for a sugar daddy moment. Yes. I cannot be that. <laughs> uh, I feel like setting up the frame kind of defeats the purpose of a tire swing. Like, just make it regular swing at that point. Also... I feel like if you just tie two bits of rope to either side of the tire and have it like down so you can sit on it, that makes it a better swing, no? Josh, how you doing? How you feeling, Josh? Are you feeling any better? <laughs> oh, I knew there was someone in there! Oh, I 
You got a sugar daddy? Now he's more of a broke hoe. <laughs> um, yes, Josh, how are you feeling? I hope you're feeling better. Uh, I knew, I knew someone would be in those toilets. Oh, manuscript page! Nightingale fires at wake. The FBI agent's command froze me in place. I considered surrender. It was all falling apart anyway. I could give in, let someone else deal with it. But it felt all wrong. Cold instinct, his posture, the way he held the gun. He was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears, I leaped for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. Damn. Uh, I'm not sick anymore, but my ribs hurt. I don't know what I did. It's probably, if you were coughing a lot, you probably, like, bruised a rib. Uh, I once had a thing, you know, the sort of bone, like, between your, your collarbone to where your ribs start? Um, the one in the middle of your cleavage. Uh, I once bruised that, and it, it really hurt, like, any time I coughed or even breathed. At one point, I thought I was having a heart attack. That wasn't fun. Uh, your mistress is a Neko. Hey, fellow Neko's. Oh, God, I'm lost. Oh, God, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck in a stool. Uh, the sternum, the one with a self-destruct button. That's a self-destruct button? What does that mean? Christ. And basically, uh, yes, sternum is what it is. Um, but I basically, uh, I used to work in catering. And I lent on something to, like, push something down. Um, with me being tiny, it wasn't easy. And I did it so hard, I basically bruised it. And I didn't notice for ages. And I had to go to doctors because it was hurting. And it was like, yeah, you bruised your sternum. I was like, oh, shit. Finds it hot that uh, Neko is dominating Poppy. Fair enough, fair enough. Unlock! Give me the car. Is anyone coming after me? Get in the car. Oh god, I've got to drive? Oh Christ, okay. Fuck you! Fuck you all! Return to Barry. I will return. Oh god, there's a log in the way. God, where am I going? down to boost the lights. Oh god, I crashed. Honk! Harry! What's on me? Uh, was this where I was meant to go? Oh, no, wait, it's through that. Sternum is a bone called the xiphod process that curves inward. When I was taught CPR, they said if you apply pressure to too low on the chest, there's a chance for that to break off and pierce the heart. Christ. Well, I'm glad that didn't happen to me. But not this way. Have I gone Stop right there, criminal scum! I thought that was in the game then. <laughs> Thank you, Faded. I was like, why is he shouting at me? 
I didn't mean to do that either. It's all going wrong. Coffee! I found coffee there. Thank you, Faded. I don't want to return to Barry, but I don't know what that means. Alan get pulled over in the middle of all this for a movie violation. Coffee? Sam, hello, hello, how you doing? Give me my coffee. Oh, have I got to follow the light? Hello there. Hello, Sam, how you doing? Thank you for the pet. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong bloody button using my flares. I don't actually know if I have to come this way. Coffee! Oh, I feel like I was supposed to come that way. Oh, now Alan's tired. Oh. Wait, what? That's a tunnel. Was I supposed to be in the car all the way here? Well, I'm confused. Hello, Snake. Hello, hello. How you doing? Welcome. Oh, Christ. Hold up. Uh... Hello, steak. Hello, hello. Sleep your day, although on vacation. Ah, enjoy your vacation. Speaking of coffee, gonna go get some. Yeah, I vote we leave all this behind us and drive south until we hit Mexico. <laughs> I also vote that. Uh, Cinder, thank you for the aspirin friend cat. If you made more money than you know what to do with, five hundred thousand or more per year, would you be a sugar mummy? Um, pff, meh, no, no. Money's mine. <laughs> I don't want to spend it on anyone. <laughs> right, let me go get the... Oh, for fuck's sake. Let me go get the car back. <laughs> Thank you, Cinder, for the ask me anything. I would make you such good garlic... Wow. For garlic bread. That's a whole different question. I would probably donate to an animal shelter. Oh, you know what? I wouldn't mind doing that. Wait, is it this way? Is this the way I've got to go? No, that's got bollard. I would reinvest it. Forget being a sugar daddy. <laughs> I know how to make supreme pizza, burgers, and spaghetti. Oh, guys, don't persuade me to be a sugar mummy, sugar mama with food, because it may happen. Yeah, come back in here. Burger flavored spaghetti pizza. I'll do it. Try me. <laughs> Oh god, don't drive off the edge. Oh, is it up this way? It's up this way, guys. Uh, I can make Yorkshire's from scratch. <gasps> Yorkshire puddings? Yeah. You like me some Yorkshire's. Uh, I would start my business idea and start up a waifu lounge. Nice. Coming after me. The flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things. Oh my lord. Okay. Uh. Oh god. Don't look at chat. Don't look at chat. Don't look at chat. Oh shit! 
I didn't mean to use that gun, but okay. There's so many. Get the guy with the shovel first. It's like a classy Hooters mixed with a maid cafe. Where it seems like Cat would be the number one star. <laughs> cat deaf waifu material. Oh, thank you. Cat said, fuck that guy in particular. <laughs> Definitely fuck that guy in particular. Uh, maybe, but Cat would blow. Paychecks, spend time with wifey, so yeah. Oh, you yeah, maybe. Bitch, where's my wife? Enough horseplay, wake. You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need... a week. It's not done. Pretty I sure the very nature of streaming to be looking for hey, a sugar person just with more steps. Your Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. If not, well, uh, get me. Yes, okay. yes, I, I get you. Wait, sugar mum and cat. I'm coming, I'm coming! <laughs> More of a crowdfunded position. Shit, I've been eating in over 24 hours. Cinder, go get food. Boats have spoken. <laughs> Oh no, wait, this isn't Barry's... this isn't Barry's hut. We gotta go where all the birds are at. <laughs> oh god, that was a hiccup. Someone do hiccup counter, please. Wait, what cat does with extra money? I think this is safe. Explosion capture schools in pain. Sounds about right. Barry had talked about birds over the phone. I'm coming, Barry. Okay. I ready to rock. Manuscript. Did we not get that one? Uh. Oh. Okay. Oh, we missed a couple of pages. She builds traps and escape rooms. <laughs> What are you going to do if I don't eat? You aren't my mistress anymore and therefore cannot punish me. Uh, I mean, there's nothing I can do. Um. So. As a friend, all I'm going to say is I would appreciate appreciate it if you ate. Telling me. Fuck you. Fuck you, buddies. That was probably a bit too early. Fuck you, birds! I'm 
trying, Barry. Oh, you fucks. birds do I have to kill before I'm done? Right, they're gonna do a charge and when they do I'm gonna be ready. You birds. Barry, you can open the door now. Hey, door. we did it. Uh, I was gonna eat, just kind of wanted to be a bit of a brat. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, by the way, how's the game treating your cat? Do you think easy difficulty is too easy now? No. Um, I mean, yes, I'm killing them. But I think it's good for me. <laughs> These birds are descended from the ones Alfred Hitchcock tied to actress Tippi Hedron. Wait, what? Is that from the movie I was making reference to earlier? With all the birds, like, flying around and attacking. I don't like that movie. Hey, Barry. Hey, Al. I'm... I'm... Sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man.
smash your pass. Now is your time. Uh, and when I am back, I will do them for you. Uh, if Mooney opens them up for me. Uh, and yeah, we'll go for them and then we'll lock it back off. Right. I will be back soon, guys.
everyone! Hello, hello! I have returned. Uh, had a panic because um, episode 3 of Alan Wake decided to start playing without me being here. So I've had to close the game down and uh, restart. But um, considering the time, I know it's early, but what I might do. Scatter! No, don't scatter! <laughs> Uh, we'll do some smash or passes uh, and then we'll probably call it there for tonight because I don't want to get halfway into a um, episode and have to end it there. So we got Friday. So Friday we'll do episode three, maybe four, depending on how long it takes us. Uh, and yeah, go from there. And then Saturday we got COVID. So it's all good. It's all good. So for now, we will spend uh, the rest of the stream just chatting and doing smash or passes. Uh, we are actually at 480 smash or passes. So uh, we are not that far off to smash or pass closing forever. So um, yes. Should be interesting. Right, let's see what you guys have suggested. Uh, yes, we've already done Louis Code Vane, Jack Skellington from Nightmare Before Christmas, I'm assuming, Cinder. Uh, <laughs> I did not read that as an eye at first. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Right, let me um, go over to here. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Right, Jack Skellington. I'm going to say... I'm going to say pass. I, I love Nightmare Before Christmas, but... There's something about him that I did, it, it just annoyed me. <laughs> so I, I'll do pass five. Pass five. I'm sorry, Cinder. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, who have we got next? The Meowster Chef from Monster Hunter World. Uh, is it this one? This guy? Or that guy? Uh... The first one. Uh, so this... Oh god, it's not a great size image. This guy in the middle. Um... I'm gonna say... Smash... Seven. Smash seven for the Meowster Chef. Yeah, smash seven. And we've got Anai's first descendant, which uh Light Knight Fork said anals. He's in charge of all the cooking. Mooney's played a lot of Monster Hunter World and showed me the cutscenes for the, the cooking and they are adorable. Absolutely adorable. Uh, Anise, First Ascendant, Smash, Eight. I'm gonna go Smash Eight for her. Thank you, Blizzy. Uh, who we got next? Uh, Jack Coveen, we've done him, so we will go for Jack Go Eva. Awesomes. I feel like this is not the right one. Oh! Uh. Instead of Jack, go Eva. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I, I, I'm, I, I'm an idiot. An idiot. Why can't I say words? Oh dear. Okay. Eva, go in <laughs> 
smash nine. I don't have the points for another. Oh, thank you, Blizzy. Blizzy's probably got a whole collection of cat bells. <laughs> Um, yeah, what did I say first? Smash 9, yeah. What late night wants? Ah, oh, thank you, Blizzy. It's very kind of you. Kisses. Mwah. Gonna say Helion from Darkest Dungeon. Oh. I haven't played Darkest Dungeon. Um, do you think it'd be a good game to do? I think Mooney's told me to play it. I'm gonna say smash eight for her. Smash eight. Thank you, late night. Thank you, Blizzy. <laughs> so, how many has that been? Um, it's not been. It's not gonna like finish up the uh, smash or pass, is it? I'm liking this Halloween lo-fi it has got going on. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So that will put us at 485. So we've got 15 to go. Are there any more for any more? More than happy to keep going with your smash your passes. Shall we aim to finish the list off tonight oh man have you reduced it to 900 damn trying to think of one <laughs> oh no i'm giving you all freedom with special passes and then everyone's brains just go i uh, don't know <laughs> I saw something that I wouldn't mind doing uh, one day. It's not Smash or Pass, it's um, uh, It's been 900 for a while. I have not noticed that. It's um, uh, Who would I fight that I might do? Um, I'm just updating the title. Do people know what we're up to? Uh, now I know what it feels like to be cat and forget fits. You know what? I'm getting worse today. I've had such a fog brain all day today. It's like I'm a sim and people keep, um, uh, cancelling my tasks. <laughs> I'm just like, what? What's going on? People try to tell me I have a type, but I just like characters like Harlak or the Hellion from uh, Darkest Dungeon or Amara from Borderlands 3. I don't play Borderlands 3. So I'm not sure, sure what she looks like. Uh, bu bu bu. I'm guessing you go for sort of warrior girl then. Uh, Belgui from S rank Bulkinshaw. Is that? Hold on. Go back to here. Is that this guy? The red hair. I get a decent sized picture. Yes. Uh. Smash. I'm going to go eight. Smash eight. He's pretty cute. I like him. I like red hair. Uh, yeah, so I saw this thing on Twitter that someone was doing of um, who would you fight? Um, maybe that's something we can look at doing instead of Smash or. Well, once Smash or Pass finishes down the line. Lilith, Borderlands free. Thank you, Blizzy.
I do have to think. We'll probably like give it a break before we do anything new, but I do have to think of something new for its place. Lilith, smash. I'm gonna go nine for her. She's pretty cute. Pretty cute. I, I like the red to the blonde hair. I've always been a fan of that. Um, Kate Blanchett play Lilith in the movie? Damn. Why are you casting? She's also a badass. Hey, That's good, that's good. I'll have to do Borderlands at some point. I got them all to play and then never played them. Which is pretty much the story of my life of I'll, um, I'll always get a game and then don't play it. Jack Black plays Claptrap in the movie. Why am I not surprised by that? <laughs> Definitely not surprised by that. Um. So yeah, we are nearing the end of Smash or Pass. So that will be gone for good. And then something will come along eventually in its place. I just don't know what yet. No one was surprised by that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's Jack Black, of course. Of course it's going to be him. Um, as always, if anyone has any ideas what they want to see, um, you just let me know in the Discord, and then I will consider it. Not promising it will happen, but I'll consider it. Put it on my mental list, which is very full, a lot of stuff and more like scribbles, but... Um, yeah, <laughs> I'll put it on my list. Great sword on great side. We're going to touch tips, guys. We are going to touch tips. We are, we are. <laughs> oh, that was a good time. Hello, Faded. What, what's up, huh? Huh? What's up? Just having a little drink. Elder Ring, good times. It was good times. I would like to do like um, a full Dark Souls, uh, like Dark Souls 1, 2, 3 at some point. I think that would be good. Sus, what's sus? What's up? What have I said that's sus? I mean, I see, say many things that are sus, but I need to know specifics. Can't always sus. I'm not always sus. Well, no, I just said that I'm always sus. Oh, I'm watching Twitch while working. I've met all these lovely people in England and Europe, but when I get off work, they are going to bed. Oh, no. That does suck. Time zones suck. If it weren't for time zones, I probably could tune into more people's streams. Probably. Um, but I don't have time anymore. And then when people are awake in like America and stuff, uh, I'm in bed because I am very sleepy all the time. <laughs> what doing now? I'll probably wrap up soon. I just wanted to make sure people got all their smash or passes out of their system. Thank you for the mustache. Oh my god, the mustache is amazing. I'm just gonna zoom in because I feel like we all need to see this. Oh no, that's zooming in my glasses. Never mind. We all need to see this uh, moustache in all its glory. There we go. Moustache! Also, this is for me to make sure it's in the right place. <laughs> moustache! <laughs> Mustache. Bot's cat. The cat moon is feeling very tired. She's EP and needing to EP. I am feeling very EP. I'm always feeling very EP. Uh, like I said, we will do episode 3 uh, of Alan Wake on Friday. It's on your upper lips, so yes, it's in the right place. I'm glad I've got it like in the middle as well. Our world is a bit skewed. Um... Yeah, Friday, we'll try and do episode 3 and maybe 4, depending on how long they are. 
because uh, I'm very excited and I want to see more of the game. And if it was up to me and I didn't have to work, we'd still be playing <laughs> until the very late hours of the night. But I can't do that, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah. I just realised my ear goes through. It's going through Sum's name. Oh, look at that. I don't have a moustache. Why, well, you're missing out. I I was doing a clear out the other day and I have like a display cabinet that I got from grandparent Cat Moon. And um, I opened the drawer and just inside it was a little, just like my shaped moustache, just a little cardboard moustache. And I have no idea where it came from. <laughs> and I was quite amused. <laughs> Just this random moustache was in a jaw. I have beard. Do you have very long wizard beard? Or like a pirate beard? I need to know these things. God, I nearly pressed things that I shouldn't have pressed. Okay. I'm just checking the schedule for this week. Only growing uh, a back beard. What? Shave not. Oh, you're currently growing your beard back. Shave not too long ago. Gotcha. Gotcha. I understand that. All right, let me zoom back out. I'm too close for anyone. Oh, God, there. Oh, God. It's my glasses. My glasses have gotten tiny. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, no, they're on my face. I've ruined everything. Okay. There we go. Oh, the part of my fringe now. God damn. Okay, well, I... Cat scuffed it all. I did. I was going to say, on that note... We're not good. They're stuck to hair note. Yeah, they're stuck to my hair. Hold on. How do I get them to not stick to my hair? There we go. I think I fixed it. Just gotta budge them over a little. There we go. All fixed. We're good. Oh no, they look weird. Okay. <laughs> Let's just turn them off for now. <laughs> oh god, I'm a floating head as well. What's going on? Oh god, shenanigans, shenanigans. Uh, on that scuff note. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to call it there. Mooney, have you got us a raid target? You do. Thank you so much. Uh, it was good to have everyone here. Thank you so much. We will be back on Friday with more Alan Wake because I'm so excited. So excited. Uh, I hope to see you all there. And if you can't make it, there will always be a VOD, so don't worry. Uh, if you want to join the Discord to find out more about what's going on in the world of Cat Moon or to uh, join in with the community, you are more than welcome to because it's a lovely little community we've got. We've got a lovely little gang. Um, thank you all so much, everyone. I love you all. Have a good Thursday and Friday day. And I'll see you Friday evening. I had to think about that. I'm forgetting my days. Take care, everyone. Make sure you stay healthy. And I love you all. Mwah. 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 Kisses. Let's go show this person lots of cat moon love. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.